considered using your sunfish as a viable form of transportation, you can sail to a restaurant. <laughs> Welcome back to Adventures in Reach, where I challenge you to try a new small adventure, build your confidence, and have more fun. So today I'm going to be sailing to a restaurant, and with that I'll be showing you how to use Google Maps to get some coordinates, and you know, just travel with your sunfish, and um, find that destination, and you know, have a fun sail along the way. I encourage you, if you like this video, to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, you know, turn on that notification bell, and even share it with people that you think might benefit from this video. When you're done here watching this one, I encourage you to look at my other sunfish videos. I have a couple about sunfish sailboat camping, which are pretty fun. In the comments, please uh, just comment with where you would go if you had a destination for your sunfish. And that might give me or other people some ideas on how to keep this going and have a bunch of fun. So let's get into it. I'm going to be sailing on Lake Vermilion and you can see right down here, this is a mile. So I'm gonna be starting at this pin here at a boat ramp and I'll probably come out into the bay here. I'm gonna have the wind from the west, south, or west, northwest. And so I'll be coming up here and tacking back and forth to get over to the Bayview Bar. Now I'll show you in the rest of the video how to use this Google Maps to get a coordinate that I can use on my GPS as I'm heading this way. So you would enter your location. I already searched it, so it's on there. So the Bayview Bar and Grill, I'm gonna to go to satellite mode. I know that the grill is not in the middle of the road here. I looked on their website and saw that they're up on this peninsula. And if you hover over that pin you'll see a little bit of info about the place and otherwise you can click to the side and drop a new pin and down here in blue is the set of coordinates that your cell phone uses and so that coordinates is in degrees decimal minutes and that does not work in a gps so i'll show you how to convert it into something that you can use in your gps so i've got these same coordinates from google maps and you can take the negative sign out of there and the, remember, these are in degrees, decimal minutes. And then what we're gonna do is, is change them over. And so we're gonna take the decimal point and everything after that, and we're going to have to multiply that by 60. This is going to give us a degrees, minutes, minutes, okay? And you can see I took the 47 and moved that over. I'll take the 92 and move that over here. And then this multiplication here, gives us the remaining seven numbers. Now, we can't use the whole thing in your GPS. There's not enough space for it. So the next highlighted one in green here, these first seven numbers is what you will put into your GPS. So you start with degrees, decimal minutes, you end with degrees, minutes, minutes. And this is now the location in my GPS that will bring me to the restaurant. So this is what I'll be navigating to while sailing. So I'm out on Lake Vermilion again. This is the place, it's 40,000 square acres. And it's uh, about 15 mile an hour winds according to the Buford scale in this area. And this is one of the bays and it's gonna get uh, probably a bit windier out on the, uh, the open lake. And I've got about nine miles to go to hit the restaurant. And yeah, we'll hope it goes well and hope you stick with me.
pick it up. <laughs> There's two foot waves consistent and some bigger ones coming by. I'm about uh, maybe three miles from the restaurant. Certainly getting hungry, so I'm ready to be there. There's a bunch of seagulls over here. I can smell them. All right, here we go. Get my GPS out to guide me into the restaurant. general direction a little further north to the right there <laughs> you can see it's pretty windy coming into the resort here Bayview Bar and Grill pretty hungry by now It's like 10 miles to get here. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell me that. It took about three and a half hours to get here. I was quite hungry, but. <laughs> it's pretty worth it. Got the boat down in the dock over there. Alright, getting ready another 10 miles. 
but downwind this time, so it should be much quicker. <laughs> You need a little motor to go out. What's that? You need a little motor. So done with the restaurant and heading back now. I've got uh, nine or ten miles to go back. It should be a lot quicker than coming here because I'm going to be going basically directly downwind. So I've got a full stomach now. I was getting pretty hungry and cold, warmed up, got this paddle jacket on. Uh, should be good to go. It was nice to stop by and see my wife and have some, some food and uh, yeah. Now back to the journey. So worked out to get here. It just took a little longer, but it was a pretty sweet way to spend the day sailing and going to a destination. So I'd encourage you to try that. Check out this thing. I mean, I guess that's cool, but I don't know. I think wind powered is much cooler. <laughs> Tell you what, I really enjoy standing on the boat. It, uh, it feels nice after several hours of sitting on it. It's, uh, it's a good change of pace. You know, just ate a big meal, kind of let it bounce down a little bit. <laughs> uh, especially running downwind, it's not nearly as bouncy and wavy and all. So, yeah, it's, it's not too bad. Um, as long as you kind of have your feet spread out on each side so you can help balance, it's, it's, really, it's really not too unstable either. So um, try it out, see what you think. When you're traveling with your sunfish, you're obviously going to use your GPS on bigger lakes just for some waypoints. But I also encourage you to use some waypoints in, in person, you know, that just objects or locations that you can remember. So remember up here, I, I mention that there is an island with a bunch of seagulls on it and we've got a ton of seagulls up here this is that same island or turn so i don't interrupt these people but yeah there's seagulls there and there's a, a stretch of three islands in a row there and that was kind of telling me my direction before so i'm using those same waypoints to find my way back again I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you uh, hit the like subscribe Woo, turn on notifications and yeah a lot of other people know about this stuff um, I know that the Sunfish is really popular so there's a lot of people out there that have them you know the world's most popular boat and uh, I think there's a lot of fun things that you can do that people don't necessarily think about with the Sunfish and uh, it's a very capable boat if you know how to sail it. So uh, yeah, get out there, have some fun, and we'll see you next time.